watch you guys got another video patch tuesday has just gone and another windows update and guess what another windows update problem causing issues like blue screen of death crashing pcs uh boot loops and also performance issues you can see it's kb 500 1330 that's the one that's causing the problem it also has issues installing where it gets halfway through and causes errors which can also cause a corruption uh, to the boot process there, which will cause a boot loop, which has been happening here. So once you've done your update and you want to get rid of it, I'm going to show you how to remove this from the system, even if your PC is not booting and you're getting a boot loop, or maybe you're at the desktop and you still want to remove it. If you're having no issues, then by all means, then you may want to keep it on your system. Personally, I would remove it just in case you start to have issues and you forget all about uh, the file that is causing the problem. There's been a few issues online. You can do a search for that uh, actual update online and you'll see quite a few issues have been uh, notified to Microsoft to say that it's causing problems. And again, we all know that these updates cause issues. That's why people pause them and uh, restrict the amount of updates that they get from Microsoft because of these issues that you're having constantly every time they're released. Now you'd think by now that Microsoft will get the picture and thoroughly test these updates before they release them to the general public. But unfortunately that is not the case and people are still having major problems when they update their PCs all the time. Then there might be a majority of people out there that don't have any issues with these updates. And this is not about slamming Microsoft. This is about bringing awareness to people that have actually updated this and they're having issues with their computer. So let me go ahead and restart the system now we've updated it. And then I'll show you exactly how you can remove this from the PC as well, even if your PC is stuck in some sort of boot loop, because there is people that are stuck in a boot loop. And I'm pretty sure that some people have gone to install it and it's got corrupted somewhere along the install process and not been installed correctly. And now you're stuck in... Uh, this boot loop now boot loop is basically when the pc starts to uh, start up and boot up and then basically it shuts down and then restarts again and you're constantly doing that and you're stuck in some sort of boot loop okay so it's just cleaning up here and it's going to get back to the desktop here and then i'll show you some ways of removing this from the pc if you are having some sort of issues so we're at the desktop now. We've done the Windows update and I'm just going to quickly show you here, go into settings here and go into update and security. And when we go to Windows update, you can say error encountered. This is what's happened here for this machine. And if we take a look at the view update history, you can see here it's saying failed to install. And this is the error code it's given us here. And I can imagine that the KB500-1330 has failed to install. And of course, it's going to affect people in different ways. You can see there's an error code there. Now, I'm not sure if this is the actual problem that people are having uh, and it's causing a boot loop or other issues. But basically, that's the issue on this machine. And I just wanted to show you here. So you can go back in here. And uh, what you want to do here, you can see there is an error encountered here. So I would remove this anyway because obviously it's failed to install correctly and this can cause problems. So I would remove this from the system and that's what I'm planning on doing. So if you want to remove it, now if you can't get to this area here because you are stuck in a boot loop, then I'll show you exactly how to remove it. But if you look here at some information, there is some information on here uh, on Microsoft's website and there is uh, some known issues with this update as well. And there are probably loads of other issues that they haven't listed here. Uh, so just bear that in mind. And uh, there is workarounds and things like that. So I'll just remove it if you are having issues with this particular update. It's the best way. And then we're going to pause those updates just to make sure it doesn't come back down and get back onto the system and cause the same problems again. So let's start off with if you can't get to the desktop you will need to shut down your PC by the power button three times. Just power it off as it's booting up. And this will immediately interrupt the boot process and put you into automatic repair mode, which you will then be able to uh, get into the advanced options. And that's what you want to do here. So if you can't get to the 
desktop and you're having a boot loop situation, then do that method here. And once it gets you to the advanced boot options, you should see a blue screen and then you'll be able to um, attempt to remove those issues there. So go into here, choose an option, go down to troubleshoot, click on troubleshoot, and then go to advanced options here. Click on this one and you should see uninstall updates right here. Click on this. Once you click on this, it will give you a couple of options, which is uninstall the latest quality update and also uninstall feature updates. Now we want to uninstall the latest quality updates. If you can call it a quality update because it's always breaking, click on this one and this will then open up another window that will say, please wait. So just let that load in and then you'll get an option to be able to remove the latest quality update from that PC. So just let it get to this part here. This is your user account. Click on this one, enter your password if you have one. And this will then load up here and say uninstall the quality update. This will uninstall the very latest quality update that you installed on that system. So if it was that KB500-1330, then basically it will remove that from the PC. And then hopefully boot back to the desktop and then pause the updates so you don't have any more issues with it. And this is how you can remove it if you've got issues like that. Now, if you can get to the desktop, you can also go to control panel, go into here, programs and features, and then go to view installed updates. What you're looking for is the KB500-1330. Click on this and then click on uninstall, and this will uninstall that update uh, from the system. Now, it will take a bit of time because it needs to uninstall this and it will need a restart to uninstall. So I'll speed this process up because it does take a fair bit of time. But once that's removed from the system, we need to pause the updates because otherwise it will download and install that update again. So what we need to do here is now restart now. And this will restart the system and prepare uh, the windows for uninstalling that update. It needs to do a bit more work here and configure windows. So just let that do its thing. It does take a bit of time, so be patient and that will then get us to the desktop and then we can then pause our updates and I'll show you how to do that as well. And like I've told people before many, many times, this is why I don't update Windows straight away because there's always issues. Microsoft are not doing quality control checks on their updates. They're letting you, the user, be their guinea pig at testing their updates when they release them. And this is why I always pause these feature updates and things like this, just to stop these issues happening. Now, normally put a pause on the security updates for a week as well, just so that if there's any problems, I know Microsoft will pull it and basically I've not installed it on my system, which keeps me up and running and stops me having issues. You can see here, I have removed this now and what you need to do is go into pause updates for seven more days. You don't want to click on uh, check for updates again because it will start to come down. It's paused it up until this date here. If you want to go to advanced options here, you can now go down to where it says paused updates and make this uh, longer by clicking on this area here and choosing another uh, date that uh, you want to put in here, which will extend the period of pausing of those updates. Now, of course you can use group policy. I've showed you how to do that. And that's basically how you can fix and resolve the update KB500-1330. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.